Hey folks and welcome back and in today's video we'll be looking at how actually we can set up Zigbee to MQTT with Home Assistant. Now if you're only interested about connecting your Zigbee devices to Home Assistant using a simpler method then you can go for Zigbee Home Automation that is provided by Home Assistant itself. So I have made a video about this it is linked somewhere here as well as into the description below but now if you want some advanced capabilities to control your Zigbee devices various options as well as how to update this particular Zigbee devices then Zigbee to MQTT would be the option for you. Now since you have already chosen to use Zigbee to MQTT, we will see how you can set this up using the Home Assistant add-on as well as setting it up as a Docker image externally. So with this, let's get started. Now as you know Zigbee to MQTT requires MQTT itself, so you need to actually make sure that you have an MQTT broker that is installed and it's connected to Home Assistant. Now, if you have not done that, there's a video link somewhere here as well as into the description below, wherein I've made a video how to actually set up an MQTT broker with and without a username and password. So today I already have this thing already set up for me. So first of all, we will look into how we can set up the Zigbee to MQTT using the Home Assistant add-on. And then we will look into how we can run it as a separate Docker image. So let's look into how we can do this using the Home Assistant add-on. So for this, what we will have to do is go to settings and then go to add-ons. And in the add-on section, what you will have to do is go to this add-on store. And in this add-on store, you will not actually find this particular integration here. So you will have to go here and click on repositories. Now here you will have to specify this particular repository. Now this repository link, I will provide it into my article, which will be linked into the description below so that you can refer to this particular link from that article. This link is also present in official documentation of Zigbee to MQTT. So you can grab it from there also. So now I'm going to add this here. So this will add the repository right now to my add-on. So it has been added here now. I'm going to close this. And what I'll need to do is I'll need to refresh this particular page. So now after refreshing it, this add-on will now be available here. So if you see here, I have this add-on here. So I'm going to use this Zigbee to MQTT add-on. I'm going to click on this. And now I'm going to click on install. So now this will actually install the Zigbee to MQTT add-on into Home Assistant. So this will take a little bit of time. Now the add-on is installed. Now before you actually start this, we need to do some kind of configurations for this. So first thing, let's go to this configuration tab. And in this configuration tab, you need to actually give the MQTT server information. Now here what I'll be doing is I'll be specifying this server and I'll be specifying MQTT and the location where I'm running the particular MQTT broker. So since I'm running the MQTT broker inside Home Assistant itself, I'm going to use the IP address of my Home Assistant. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this here. Remember, we have to keep this as MQTT and the IP address. Along with this, you will have to specify the port on which you have connected your Zigbee dongle. So now the Zigbee coordinator that we have, I'm using the Sonoff Zigbee 3 e version of the dongle. And I have links to this particular dongle into the description below if you want to buy it. And I'm using this latest dongle, which is provided by Sonoff. So for this, I'm going to specify this port option here. And we need to specify the location of this particular dongle onto our home assistant. So for this, what we will have to do is we will require SSH access into Home Assistant. So now I've connected the dongle to my Raspberry Pi, which is running this Home Assistant OS. So I will open this terminal now and, and I'm going to do this SSH access inside Home Assistant. Now, if you have not done the SSH integration with Home Assistant, there's a link to a particular video here as well as into the description below to show you how you can actually install the SSH integration with Home Assistant. Right now, what we will do is we are going to run this command like ls minus L and we are going to specify, let me zoom in a bit. And we are going to specify dev 
slash serial slash by id and when i hit enter you see here that this is the sonoff zigbee dongle that i have and it is present at this particular location that is tty acm0 so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to use this particular value and i'm going to now paste it here so i'm going to go here now and in my port section i'm going to specify it as slash dev slash and i'm going to take this value from here tty acm0 so tty acm0 so i'm going to specify this here as well as now since i'm using the sonoff zigbee dongle e version i need to specify this particular adapter now this may not be the same if you have a different adapter altogether you can find the adapters into the official documentation but since i'm using the sonoff zigbee dongle e version i'm going to specify an adapter here so i have to specify an adapter that is the ezsp so this i have to specify only for the zigbee 3.0 e version of the coordinator dongle so i'm going to now with this let me zoom out a bit i'm going to now save this particular settings here so with this settings being done what i'm going to do now is i'm going to actually enable this particular watchdog and i'm going to enable this show in sidebar with this as you can see it's been added here in the sidebar i'm going to start the zigbee to mqtt so now let's go ahead and look at the logs so on clicking refresh here this should now actually show me the logs from the zigbee to mqtt so right now what i see is that i'm getting this unauthorized error here so this is while communicating with mqtt so now let's actually see what i missed so in my configuration i specified only the server let me also specify the port so 183 is the port of the mqtt server and i'm going to specify the username and the password of my mqtt server so now here is the username and the password if you want to see your username and password if you have set it go to your settings and in your settings go again to your add-ons and in your add-ons go to your mqtt broker and here in the configurations you should be able to see your logins here so if you have set this then you will have to specify this particular credentials here okay so now you specify this all of this information i will put it into my article which will be linked into the description below with this i'm going to now save this and then I'm going to go to info and I'm going to now start my Zigbee to MQTT again. So now let's go to the logs. So as you can see now, it has started. So now it can actually publish messages to the MQTT broker and you can see Zigbee to MQTT has started. So that's a good sign right now. So now what we are going to do is, this is how we set up Zigbee to MQTT on our Home Assistant OS using the add-on right now what if you want to run this as a separate docker image and then connect it to home assistant so now i will show you how to do this using the docker image now if you don't want to know about the docker setup mechanism you can skip to the next chapter wherein we will be looking into the zigbee to mqtt interface and then we will connect a particular device now let's actually look at how we can do the docker setup so for this what you will have to do is first of all I have this particular server in which I have this zigbee to mqtt folder here. Now here I have this particular docker compose file. So in this I, you can see that the image name is this here and here I am specifying the device that is this is the device location on my system for the particular zigbee 3.0 adapter that I have connected using USB. Now I'm giving the container name as zigbee to mqtt itself. So this is going to be the name of my container, which will spin up later. Now let's look at how we can actually find out this particular location. So for this, let's actually exit this thing. Now to find that particular location of my dongle, I need to actually find this particular location file, right? So what I need to do is first of all, I'll have to connect the dongle to my server. So that's what I have done right now. And then I have this particular script called as find usb.sh. Now I will provide this particular script in my article so that you can just copy paste the content 
create this particular file and then make this file executable and then you can execute it using this mechanism that is dot forward slash and the name of the file so this is the file that i'm executing and with this it will actually tell me all the locations so if you can see here right now it is showing me this zigbee 3.0 usb dongle plus here and this is the location that i actually used into my docker file so i'm going to actually copy this and then let's open docker compose file for us and here i'm going to actually mount this as a device so uh, i've pasted this here colon and then pasting this again so this makes sure that this file from the host is actually mounted at this particular location in the container so this is all that you need to do actually to do the zigbee to mqtt docker setup now comes the next part that is we need to provide it some configuration right so now if you see here i have mounted certain volumes here so i've mounted this particular data which is mapped to this app slash data so what we are going to do is we are going to go to this data which is in the current local directory here and this data folder i'm going to go inside it now so now if you see here i have this particular configuration here so i'm going to open this particular configuration and this is a configuration that will be given to the zigbee to mqtt now if you have seen the previous section wherein i showed you how i specify the configurations for my home assistant add-on so this is the same configuration here wherein i'm specifying for the mqtt this is the broker so i'm using a different broker here i'm using the broker that is running on this particular machine that is this server itself and then i'm specifying the serial port this is the same port that we have specified in a docker image so that's the same thing that i'm specifying here along with this the remaining options you can keep it as is there's nothing to add here so with this what we are going to do is we are going to now save this particular configuration and we are going to come out of this particular directory and we are going to run docker compose up so now the zigbee to mqtt is actually starting up and it will now connect to my mqtt broker to actually send information whatever it finds so as you can see it has connected to my broker here and it is now actually publishing messages to this particular topic here cool so right now we have the zigbee to mqtt docker image up and running using this mechanism here now in case if you have a username and password for that particular mqtt broker you will have to open that configuration which i had shown you before and under the mqtt section you will have to specify first of all the url to the server and then you specify the user and the password and it will work properly so now this is actually up and running now actually we are going to do the interesting part now we are going to actually look at our zigbee to mqtt console so if you are running it using docker compose so i will actually open this using the port 8080 so let's actually open this and there we go so this is the ui from zigbee to mqtt and in this i will turn on the light mode because it's easier to view for you all and here i'm accessing it using the docker image now let's actually use the home assistant add-on that we had integrated before and do the configuration from there so let's go to this section here now whatever i'll be doing is the same thing that we have for the docker image also you can just follow this particular same tutorial here so now i'm going to turn on the light mode right now because it's easier for you all to see and then let's look at some of the interesting things here so first of all let's go to settings and in the settings section let's look at the mqtt configurations that we have so this is the configuration that we provided we provided the username and the password that was been set through the configuration it's not been set here right now then if you go into the serial section this is the port setting that we had given and remember that the adapter that i had specified ezsp which was meant for my sonoff dongle e version so this adapter is also shown here right now let's look at the home assistant integration so this is the advanced integration wherein it has set in a particular topic into the mqtt for home assistant itself so now these are some of the settings that is there let's look at some of the things such as an ota so now we will check this particular ota section once we integrate some kind of a device so let's go to devices so i don't have any devices right now connected so let's actually connect one device so i have this particular socket that i have so this is a zigbee socket links to this particular plug are present into the description below 
and now i'm going to press this and hold this and put it into pairing mode so let me put it into the pairing mode so if you see right now it's gone into this particular pairing mode and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to click on this join so now this will actually allow the devices to join this particular dongle now so let's wait for this and as you can see it has already started to discover this particular device and it has now been shown over here so you can see that this device is now paired with zigbee 2 mqtt let me keep this down and this is the device right now that we have here so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this name so first of all i'm going to click on edit and i'm going to give this as first zigbee plug so this is the name that i'm going to give right now and i'm going to say update home assistant entity id and rename this device so now this is a friendly name that i'm giving let's look at the various things that this thing provides us so i'm going to click on this and as you can see it is showing that it is a supported device then this is the particular iee address and then it's showing me the manufacturer here now the next thing let's look at what it exposes now this is a plug through which you can actually monitor the amount of energy consumed so this is the information that is present so right now there is nothing connected to this so it is showing zero amperes and zero watt here and this is the total energy that is consumed till now because this is an older plug that i was already using so these are the various things that are present here now if you want to check if this thing is working so you can see this particular indicator right now i'm going to turn off and i'm going to turn it on again so as you can see this particular integration is now complete now let's look at the update section so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to this ota and here there is an option here to check for updates so right now there are no updates available because i updated this particular plug while actually doing the trials for zigbee 2 mqtt so here you can see in this image you get this particular update and it was doing the update so i just captured this particular image to show it to you all so using this you can actually update your plugs with new firmware that comes up now this is what we did we connected the socket to zigbee 2 mqtt now what we have to do is the final step that is connect this to home assistant now since this is actually communicating with mqtt and we have done the integration of mqtt with home assistant using the video that i had given you before if you want you can refer to it again here i'm going to go to settings now and i'm going to devices and if i go down to mqtt you will see that this device is already come here so now if i open this device as you can see the first zigbee plug that we just configured is right now present let's look at this so if you can see this light i'm going to turn it off and i'm going to turn it on again so this is all working right now even the energy consumption which is there it is available here and you can actually now go to your settings go to your dashboards and in the dashboards under the energy dashboard you can add this particular consumption so i'm going to select the first zigbee energy consumption here and i'm going to say save don't worry about this particular error just refresh this particular page and this should get populated after some time so you don't have to worry about it with this we just saw how actually we can integrate zigbee to mqtt to home assistant using the mqtt broker so now using this particular setup we are able to actually view our zigbee devices here with all the various options that are present here all the indicators and all the power options and everything will be viewed here now this will take a little bit of time for it to actually get all this information so be a little bit patient give it some time maybe after an hour have a look at it and you will get all the various entities present here so we just saw how we can set up zigbee 2 mqtt using the home assistant add-on or run it as a docker container now if you like this particular video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more such videos around home assistant and to make your home smarter every day with this i'll see you in my next one